So today we are going to be making a harvest pasta. And um, this pasta that I picked up here, I did get this pasta at the Christmas tree shop. Um, and I know that a lot of play people that watch this channel probably do not have a Christmas tree shop where you are. Um, but you can probably find stuff like this in little specialty stores in your area. But it is just like a little harvest type, um, you know, it's got little pumpkins and leaves and stuff. Or you can always go to Walmart and buy the colorful um, pasta swirls. I think it's the Rotini um, pasta noodles. But, you know, and you don't really have to have any color. It just makes it um, a little bit more festive when you have um, the different color pasta for this. So anyway, I'm going to open this up and I'm going to go ahead and put it in my water and cook this according to the instructions. And then I will show you how I put um, all of this together. While I'm waiting for my water to boil um, and my pasta to get done, I did go ahead and cut up my broccoli and I rinsed that off. And so I'm letting that drain into this little bowl. I just set that in on top of that. And I am going to go ahead and peel my sweet potatoes and get those cut up into cubes. Now that I have these all cut up, I'm just going to drizzle these with a little bit of olive oil and then I'm going to um, toss them with some salt and pepper. Just and make sure that you get all of this coated with the olive oil because this is what your salt and pepper is going to be sticking to. So you do want to do that first and then I'm just going to kind of spread it around on my baking sheet here. And then I'm going to go over with the salt and pepper and I am using Himalayan um, pink sea salt, but you can use regular uh, table salt if you want to. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bake this in the oven for about 30 minutes at 400 degrees and then I'm going to let those cool before I put those in the pasta salad with the rest of the ingredients. So the last thing that I have to do um, to prep before I can put everything together is to um, toast me up some pine nuts. I did just be, pick up this bag at Walmart. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to heat a little bit of olive oil um, and you know not you don't want to put too much. So I'm just going to put maybe a teaspoon of olive oil in here and I'm going to put all of these pine nuts in here and I'm just going to get them nice and coated and continue to stir them until I feel like they have browned up a bit. Pasta that I had actually had like a spicy type smell to it, even though it doesn't say that it's flavored. I can also smell these pine nuts and I can smell the um, sweet potatoes cooking in my oven. So this, um, my kitchen is definitely smelling a little harvesty right now, which is good because this is what this dish is all about. So my sweet potatoes are now done, um, just to let you know what they look like. And they are soft. I did take like um, one of those little cake testers and pierce it and it is soft all the way through. But I did put that on a cooling rack um, so that those could get completely cooled down. So I've got all my ingredients prepped and everything now. I did um, have to cut up a red onion and you can cut that up however you want to. I like to cut mine thin. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all this together and I usually try and use a clear bowl just so that y'all can kind of see better. But unfortunately, this was a lot of pasta and I did not have a bowl that was clear that was that big. <laughs> so I'm basically just going to combine all of this and um, then stir it all up. But I'm just going to eyeball it as to how I like mine. I will put you know, link to the recipe down below in the description box so you can get exact measurements. But, um, you know, you just do whatever you want to for your taste. But I'm going to go ahead and put in my uh, potato, um, sweet potatoes. And then I'm going to do the broccoli. And my onions. Then you got cranberries here. And then I'm going to just scatter my pine nuts through here. All right. 
And I did put my pasta in the refrigerator for a little bit. I feel like that sometimes pasta, when you're going to serve it in like a cold pasta salad, the cooler the pasta is, the easier it is to stir without breaking it up. So I'm just going to lightly toss this. Look at all these beautiful colors. Oh my goodness. Tell me this is not spring harvest to you. Now I'm going to add my dressing. And the dressing in the recipe um, says just poppy uh, seed dressing. And this was the picture that the lady had in hers. And so I'm not used to eating poppy seed dressing. Don't really know what I'm shopping for. So I did go ahead and get this. And I'm going to pour this in in, in little increments because, um, you know, it's just to me when you're putting dressing on something, it's easier to pour a little bit, then stop and stir, and then pour a little bit more, stop and stir because you don't want to overdo it and you don't want your um, all these great flavors to be sucked up in this dressing and not taste anything else. I'm going to pour just a little bit more. All right, so I think this is ready to serve. And just to let you know, if you're going to eat this um, as soon as you make it, then you're good to go. But if you are going to put this in the refrigerator and serve it later, as it sits in the refrigerator, it will start to absorb um, the dressing into the noodles. And so it might not um, be quite as flavorful. I know that that sounds strange because usually when something sits and marinates, it tastes better. But um, from my previous experience with pasta, you need to add a little bit more dressing when you serve it if you refrigerate it um, for a long period of time or like overnight or something like that. I did go back and I added some goat cheese. I almost forgot about that, but you just want to get you a little bit of goat cheese and crumble it up into your mixture and then stir everything and then um, it'll be ready to serve. Of course, that is optional.